Here, Jay Beasy, what's good, my boy? You know we back live, hip hop daily. You know it's DJ Larry Love. You know we practicing our social distance. It's safe to take it off now, so I ain't gotta get all that back back talk from from the comments and the DMs, man. But you know, <laughs> goddamn, we gotta get this man his flowers while he's still here, man. You know the wrap up 2020, man. The legendary Yango G in these streets, man. Most talented. You may you may see his face, but you know him, but you don't know him, man. Let's introduce yourself to the world, brother. Let him know who we're talking to, man. Okay, so yeah, we we good now. All okay, right, so <laughs> it's uh, what's happening, man? It's Mr. Hanky checking in. Man, I'm Mr. happy Hanky, to be here, man. man. You know, Mr. Hanky, 2020. Man. And the reason I said that, man, because when you hear your tag on the track, you know who it is. You know what I'm saying? When I see you, I know who it is. You know what I'm saying? But I think it's your humble fact that. To yeah, keep, to keep it still here for you, man, in Black Hollywood of Atlanta, man. Yeah, I mean, I tell people all the time, man. I'm, I've been doing this, you know. I done seen a lot of people come, a lot of people go. Facts. So, facts. you know, I seen a lot of people turned up, you know, just, you know, feeling they self, and yeah. that shit, that shit crash quick. That shit do crash quick, man. <laughs> and man, I, me being DJ, I've been DJ for 17 years, man. Since right. two, uh, on the, I would say in the 21 and up club, I, call, I say professional levels of 21 and up club. <laughs> In Atlanta, man, because I tell people Atlanta's Black Hollywood. I don't yeah. give a fuck where you go. It's the mecca of hip hop now. Yeah, you know it's, it's the mecca of the culture, man. Exactly. It's outside of um, outside of music, man. It just like you you gotta pass through here for it to make sense. Got Otherwise, to. don't nobody care. And for you saying pass through historical fact, don't you know that you can get everyone in the world from twenty five? Did you everybody? Know, you, did you know that every major city you can get to in the world from to, from Atlanta, Georgia? I did not know that. From twenty five, yes, sir. That's why the, that's why the airport's here. We yeah. got the most busiest airport. So they have, so wherever they got the airport at, they had to put road at. So wherever, whatever ground at, they have to put air at. You know what I'm saying in that same city. So that that's makes what makes sense. Us, yeah. So you know that's a little. You know, nigga do is nigga do is reading the man. Just just because I'm a DJ, don't think I ain't. You know, I don't I don't help myself to YouTube. You he know said, what I'm saying? He said that ain't where it stop at. <laughs> but nah, man. You know, so definitely I do my homework, man. I know you used to be a DJ too. Yeah, I started you know off as DJing. Um, Back at college, man, in uh, Louisiana, Southern, Southern University. Yeah, you know, I know, uh, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See. An- another fact that I know that I've never seen a nigga ask you in the interview is, man, let's talk about the package, though, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, let's talk about it, because it was you. Shout out to DJ Smurf. We're gonna say, I ain't going to say his producer. We're going to say DJ Smurf first. And yeah. what's the other dude name? What's uh, it? Swole? Stroke? It was uh, Swole, uh, Tom Slick, and okay. my boy John Boy. Okay. And uh, okay. we was a production group at one time under um, Collar Park Music. Okay. And uh, and it was actually put together by by Smurf, a College Park brother, Derek. That's hard. Yeah, That's hard. So, yeah. Shout out to College Park, man. I met him uh, maybe a couple years ago. He had a dope, a dope ass little studio. Was it Washington Road? Yeah. It was like a little cutoff. Yeah. Like, I was like little sweets. Am I talking about this? You know what I'm talking about? Like off of Main Street? Yeah. I was by the College Park uh, train station. Right off of uh, Roosevelt Highway. Off of Roosevelt Highway, yeah. man. He still got that studio there? I think so. I think so. That's crazy, yeah. man. That's crazy, man. Real legendary niggas. And we talking about College Park <laughs> music. So, man, that's when me saying I did my homework, man. You know, I. I really, res- I give niggas they homage, you know what I'm saying? A lot yeah. of these, I, I, I classify myself as a young OG myself for being in 17 years, but a lot of the niggas that's a young, we don't give niggas they credit, you know what I'm right. saying? If, if we feel like nobody did it before us. Right. You know, not me in particular, but a lot of younger niggas that do other shit, they feel like nobody never did it before them. I mean, I, that, that's crazy you say that, man. <laughs> so, I'm just keeping it 100. No, I'll you know be saying? laughing because it's like, like you, you have people on interviews, and man, that's the first thing, man. I got it out the mud. Ain't nobody man. gave me nothing, Fuck you that, know. And they be like, bro, come Fuck on, that, stop. Man. Fuck that, ain't man. nobody did nothing out here by themselves. Ain't you nobody know? did nothing out there you know, by themselves. The, you know, and at the end of the day, you just got to keep it going. You know, I think that's one of the cool things about how I came in with the package store, uh, with that whole concept. You know, just working with other producers, but Word. you know, it's just about you know, finding your own sound, your own way of doing things. Word. And that's what kind of happened. You know, everybody doing their own thing and it just works, you know what I'm saying? That works. And I'm talking about hard head smack. I can go back, we're gonna start, I can say VIC get silly. I yeah. can go back to uh, Tex James, smart girl, dumb booty. Is that right? I can go to, uh, I mean, See, Rival. I most of that, to, most of that's be, that's be, most of that is after, you know. That's, that's, yeah. that's the package like store, that. Yeah, the package store didn't stay around. It might've been around, uh, maybe about two, three years, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Early 2000s, or mid 90s, too, like late early okay. mid 2000s, okay. mid, mid okay. 2000s, 2006, okay. to okay. like 2008. I want to say. Okay. Yeah. So when did you go in your own? Uh, so first of all, the the only Hanky, Mr. Hanky that I remember was from a fucking cartoon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it was, I, I don't want to just. 
it was like a, I mean, you want to, it was a fucking, you know. A, a, it was a, a Christmas, piece, it, was it was a talking piece of shit Basically a talking piece of shit, you know. Is that really, what if, I want to know where, because that's the only Hanky that I know. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's where it came from. Damn, Because I be crazy. talking plenty of shit. Oh, that's and hard. I, yeah, okay, I'm, now I'm I get shit it. too, so it, it worked. I get it, now I get it. I, I, I got I got the name at Southern University, so when okay. I was in the band, yeah, when I was a crowd. Had to be a band nigga, man. Yeah, had to be. Was you the, what, okay, what, what instrument you played? I played trumpet. Was you the second trumpet, the first? You know, because I know you had the first, second, third trumpet. Which trumpet was you on the line? I mean, the, dog, it's, I played trumpet at Southern, so that's, that just, that's it lit. by itself. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, I was one of the ones, but it was some, it was some cats in there, man, that just. What was the nickname for the band? Uh, the human jukebox. The human still, jukebox. Yeah. That's what it was. Shout out to them. Shout out to Southern man. I went to uh, I went to South Carolina State my freshman year. Shout okay. out to Marching One and One Band. Okay. Then I transferred to Albany State here in Georgia. Okay. Um. So I do. Rem- so I, I mean, I, I I graduated from Albany State. Okay. You know, in 2011. So I know how the HBCU. Li- I know how the band life. If you was if you ain't if you wasn't in the band, if you ain't had them three letters. If you ain't wasn't an athlete, you wasn't shit on campus <laughs> at, at HBCU. All but, right. But we threw parties. I was a DJ, so I kind of got right. in. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I got the I got the cool the quality holes. The niggas that wasn't doing <laughs> shit. You had to go to the cafeteria. You had to go to the uh the uh what you call it? <laughs> if you had the cafe, what's the other little shit you got? The, the union. Uh, the union. The union. You had to go to the union and, and catch a nigga straggler hole. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna keep it all ready. College. <laughs> shout to the HBCU. Uh, Experiences, Woo, man. Boy, that boy, hell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about homecoming weeks, man. You know what yeah, I'm saying? How, how was the love at Southern University, man? Because I know you. I mean, you. They got you on the wall somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, man. Know. They put my name in the rafters yeah, in the man. Super yeah, Superdome yeah, next year, so I'm just I'm just gonna pick out my spot. They gonna put me in, but uh, yeah. that's when you know you had the juice. Yeah. Like, nah, when nah. did you really? When did you really know? Like, you know what? I'm probably gonna make. I can make six. Like, what was the first thing that you did to know that I'm probably gonna see more than ten thousand off this shit? On one play, I ain't gonna lie, man. When I was in kindergarten, I was popular then. You know, so I was popping <laughs> in. Real shit. Yeah, you know, most kids they had like the eight crayon pack. I had like sixty four <laughs> off the roof. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You had, had the peach color. You had I didn't. The, I didn't the, have red. I had like light red. <laughs> you know, I had burgundy. Yeah. Then it transitioned yeah. to the orange yeah. and all that. So yeah. yeah. I, it was always like that, man. I, it was always a creativeness there. Yeah, I always knew, you know, I, it was weird to me at first because um, I just didn't see stuff like other people saw it. Okay, okay. So, you know, we would, they say draw a tree in, in class and I draw a whole, you know, that, forest. That, that's real, that's real. You know. Just just to take it back, you did say, because when you said Packers store, I, I kind of get the mind, y'all was kind of creative, y'all was kind of fun. It'd probably be the new Dungeon family because you said y'all, it was a group of, that, was that the influence back then? To be in a group of other producers to kind of be a militia to nah, move the kids. What it what it was, um, what it was. So, if I let me see, make make sure I ain't saying this wrong. So what it was is me and um me and me and John Boy. Okay. We went to Southern. He went to Southern as well. Okay. But he was cool with um. Screen went to Southern too, right? No, he went to Southern. Nah, Screen went to um. Uh, he went to Southern. He went to Southern. He throwing me up. Hold on. My bad. My bad. Nah, I just thought about it. Now, nah, Screen with the Tuskegee. Okay, okay. Okay, okay yes. Yeah, screen with Tuskegee. Okay. But anyway, basically, I was out, me and John Boy was already working because he had a group called the B Team. Okay. And they out of my, um, Montgomery, Alabama. Okay. Um, you from East Atlanta, though? So yeah, I'm from okay. down the street. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. my mama and I'm from Alabama, okay. mom and dad. Okay. But um, my whole family, really. But anyway, so we was already working on his group and a couple other local groups and stuff. Uh, you know, help him out on that side of stuff. And Tex James, which was part of Cadillac Boys uh, and Macon, he brought, he was working with Swole down there in Macon. Okay. And Tom Slick was already working with Collar Park Music. So mm. I guess it was more of a thing to where, you know, I guess it made more sense to market it collectively. Yeah, almost like in-house. Yeah, it Basically. made sense to, but, it, we was marketed together, but we were still individuals. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? That's hard. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, we did collab on a lot of tracks together, like um, Wobble. Um, yeah. You know, that whole VIC project, okay. Hurricane Chris project. Yeah. But what ended up happening Shout out to DJ was, Aries, man. Yeah, Aries, yeah. Uh, Hood Hard. I said being, I was, I'm actually still, a, I was affiliated with Hood Hard in, in some years ago. So I remember Aries was working, I remember Aries was working that VIC record. Aries is crazy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still got to get his ass back up here, man. We, we was up here a while, about two or three years ago, man. But we got to get up here and talk some new shit, man, for 2021. But man. that's what it was. Yeah. It was, um, 
you know, it was just a lot of stuff going on. So everybody, what was dope was we did a lot of stuff together, but we really. That's what made Atlanta though. That's well, what made a networks, period. You yeah, know but what, I mean? what it was, day. what made it work was what it made it didn't really work at the same time because mm. everybody still had their own individual thing of what, how they wanted stuff to True. sound. So, True. But in its own way, it worked. True. Yeah. I mean, but that's, just think about it. If, just think about if social media to it, if it was out like it is now back then. Yeah. It may have been a whole different spin because yeah, yeah. back in the day, I'll be t like, we didn't have internet. It was street teams. It was mobbing. So the bigger your fucking mob is in the street, the stronger y'all are, the stronger the network is outside. We didn't, World Wide Web wasn't a thing probably when y'all was mobbing back then too. It, it was. I'm going to be honest. Okay. Like, this is this was the craziest thing about it. So I was talking to Soldier Boy the other day on Clubhouse. He okay. had a room going. Clubhouse crazy too, and, Yeah, shout out to Clubhouse. Yeah, popping on Clubhouse. I'm new on that shit, man. It's crazy. Yeah, it's lit. It is. Um. But what happened, what had happened was I told I told Dre, I mean Soldier Boy the other day on Clubhouse, and I was like, bro, everything that's going on now, like I saw Soldier Boy doing that mm. when we first was over there. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? Before we even when we formed the package store, yeah. One of the first artists that we put out that we was working with hands on with Soldier Boy. And what you saying, Soldier Boy name, he's the first artist that YouTube allowed to have his music on the actual website of YouTube. He's the first hip hop artist. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's not, the another hip hop fan. You gotta understand, yeah. like I didn't know what I didn't know what YouTube was. Yeah. I didn't know what none of this stuff he's was. The first so artist. He's the, first the reason one. why we got these streams and stuff now and all the way they calculate everything out is because it's of him. Because of him. So it was so crazy being a part of that. Damn. And not really realizing what it was. Yeah, I thought he was tripping. Right, it was like, okay, well this, you know, because when we came in, it was the, you know, you had Ice-T that was mad at him. Mm, All the old, yeah. you know, he ain't hip hop, he ain't yeah, this, I forgot about that. he ain't that. And now those yeah. same old niggas is, they, you know, they trying to, you know, get verified and all this exactly. other shit. Exactly, the, the, the blue check shit crazy on Instagram, man. Right, so it's, it's crazy yeah. to see how things come full circle, but it's so crazy, like, you don't realize you're in a moment of some real revolutionary dope shit in a moment because it was so fresh and we were so young. We ain't know. We ain't know. Yeah. That boy was a cause. He was part of some shit, but when he was on, when he was going his spaz and he and people they they was really calling him Big Soldier when he was spaz because everything he's saying was facts. You couldn't you couldn't you can't fact check none. Of, I mean you can fact you can't fact check to the perspective of what he was talking. Everything was facts. You know what I mean? He was the so far as putting people. I ain't gonna say the whole soldier with him the Drake in the lines and shit, but a lot of the shit. He he was a starter. I mean, he, I remember. He inspired. Yeah. He, it might not have been to verbatim. The, yeah, right. But That's the best word. Yeah, you can. Yeah. like if he wanted to go sue some niggas. Yeah, and 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 for publishing or whatnot, yeah. he could he would win. Yeah, yeah, I can believe it. I can yeah. believe it. So man, um, enough for that, man. We can come a little current, man. We you know yo, California. The California beat. Is, yo, when I heard that beat, I already knew it was gonna be a hit. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> yeah. I heard, I think I heard the version before Dolph, the the, re the regular version. Right, right, right. Then when the Dolph got on the remix, I think that's when. Cause just your tag first. I remember hearing your. Tag, I think what year was it when California came out? Ah, uh, that came out. Oh, 15, 15, 2015. 15? Yeah, yeah, 15? but. Yeah, Dolph, is, Dolph was actually on the original version. It okay. was Ti that T got on the okay, remix. Okay, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Tip got on the remix. Yeah. When you heard when you first shot the, in a Fantasia Brothers on the that's Rico Barino. Rico that, Barino. That's Fantasia yep. Brother. Um was you in the studio when they actually was or, or did it kind of, you made the beat and kind of sent it up or was you actually there when they was kind of So cuz that sounded like you was putting it together like piece by piece type of beat. It sounded like you was working the moves in the room making that beat to me. No, nah, no. Nah, so what it was when we did when I did the beat, I originally did the I had a whole nother hook on it and everything. Okay. And um, which would have been dope is a dope record as well. Okay. But at the end of the day, the, the artist I was trying to get it to, they didn't really get the whole concept of what we was doing. Okay. So uh, at the time I was working with Colonel Loud, I just sent him a beat, asking what he thought about it. And uh, he hit me back immediately. I think it was in Carolina or somewhere. Sure, I don't know Carolina, what it was. Man. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but anyway, they just sent me the hook with Rico singing on it. Cause I think they was trying to get Jeremiah or somebody mm. on it. And I was like, I don't know. I was like, Rico killed that hook. Yeah. You know, so when yeah. they sent it back, I was here in Atlanta. I was like, bro, I don't, I don't know what y'all thinking about, but <laughs> we need to leave that where it is. Where it yeah. Is. yeah. I can see that. I'm talking about the first time. I can, that yeah. shit, yeah. that shit hard. When yeah. I first heard it, I'm talking that's the first, that was one of the songs for me being a DJ. You can go from a, a 18 and old party to a 40 and up party and play it. Right. You know what I mean? And that's, 
Those are called, I call them timeless records. Yeah. If I could play yeah. for a fucking eighteen year old kid to a forty year old, I'm talking about in that age range in the club. That's that's amazing. Yeah. For a song, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that, I think honestly, man, when I did the beat, I was at department store mm. on, on Edgewood. Okay. And um, they was having a uh, <clears throat> they was having a playlist. Okay. Thing on Mondays, where you pick up pick up your phone or whatever, and I don't know what happened, um, but some kind of way my phone just I was playing stuff and it went to Frankie Bell and Maze. Mm. Um, I don't know how it happened, and we are one started playing, and mm, everybody okay. was like, "Oh yeah, that's hard." Yeah, that's hard. That's like nigga, I gotta do that. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. And that shit turned to a motherfucking Grammy. That shit is that that's that is that the Grammy nominated song? Is it from California? I don't think no. I don't think it was. I don't think it was um, Grammy nominated. Okay. But it it did very well. Yeah. Um, and especially as independent artists, okay. uh, it made it was on a bunch of movies. It it's on, still getting placed okay. on movies to this day. So yeah. And you get and your name gets tagged on every time that shit. Jumps, every time man. it's a check. What a beautiful fucking feeling. It's man. a check every time Just, they show them movies. Hey man, to start off as a that's why I'm inspired to, to start off as a DJ to go to that type of you know it's it's a spectrum man. You yeah. Gotta, you yeah. Know, it, it comes. So from that, the you the little dude brought you the smile. Like you know we got to talk before we wrap it up. Nah, so <laughs> before we wrap it up, the smile because that was the anthem for 20. Was that was did that song come out? Because I remember that it was came like a out new, 2018 and it it lasted. Shit, till 2019. But it was the anthem, like at the end of the like New Year's Eve. It was like around a holiday time where it was just the anthem. Was yeah, it, it was and, the anthem. And what was crazy is we were supposed to be. Um, it's crazy you said New Year's Eve because it was when it came out, 2018. We're supposed to go to um, New York for New Year's Eve and perform it. Wow. See? Live on live on TV. That's crazy. Be, I forgot what happened, man. Something crazy happened. That's but, crazy. But yeah. So I. It was, but and that had to be like one of Duval's. That is his biggest. That has to be his biggest. Yeah. So yeah. it was. Our, so once y'all did that, it's already locked in. Hey, bro, we got to. So is it? Is it? How how was that creation now? Because after y'all done made this big track, when do y'all feel like y'all should create it? Because I know like that's sometimes you ever heard a, you ever heard somebody say that that song was so big that we don't know we can kind of come back bigger than that last one. Yeah, and I think I don't think not to put you in that boat. No, I'm no, just, you know yeah, I, mean? I, I get it because it was a moment, right, and I get right, it. You know, right. like. It was literally like, it wasn't nothing that we tried to do. Like I had, when I did that beat, when I did California, I also did the beat for Living My Best Life. So you're talking mm. about that beat, maybe about two, three years old. The same beat, same time I did Luke Nasty on the way, mm. that record. And um, I ain't even talked, I just said, I was, I put, that's, come on JB, you supposed to, we just talking about it. We just talking about Luke Nasty on the way, man. Yeah, yeah, so when I did that record, I mean, I did a whole bunch of those records around those times. Yeah. And literally like, we were just literally around sitting here like right now because he, you know, came in to do something else. Okay. And we knocked that out in five minutes. And um, while we sitting there just talking, chopping it up, I was like, hey, man, you got a song for that? And he was like, man, I need one. I just played one beat. He's like, okay, that's cool. He went and did Smile Bitch, Smile Bitch. Then I played the beat that is currently on, and that was it. He just did, he did the same thing on there. I took the song, took the session, and actually produced it chopped it up, made spaces for the hook, made spaces for the verses, and we just put it together. How, how did Snoop come into all that? Man, Snoop came about, cause Duval just was like, you know, cause I know he real cool with T.I. Yeah. With Tip, so I was like, oh well, shit, let's get Tip on it. He was like, mm, okay, I nah, can he hit was tip like. On that. I can hit tip yeah, on he, but he was like, nah, that's cool, you know, I fuck with Tip, but he was like, I'm thinking somebody different, they, they ain't gonna expect me to do yeah. a song with. Yeah. He's like, man, I'm finna send it to Snoop. So I like, okay, cool. Send it to Snoop. That's the bit. That was the best fucking. Oh my god. Yeah, cause it was so unexpected, and I was like, okay, cool. So we sent it over to him. Snoop sent it back. Like it was like a Saturday morning, Friday morning, like like right was now. Late. Wait, when you heard Snoop on your shit, I mean, not to say that you didn't have other big artists on your shit, but to hear Snoop Dogg on your beat. Yeah, what I was mean, that feeling like? Damn, this nigga. I mean, not that the checks was already big. You no, know no, what it was saying? cool. It was okay, cool. Okay, okay. No, it was cool. Nigga got to have a feeling, nigga. I just nah. heard Snoop on my shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's like pop to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I mean, come on. That's like hearing somebody like a, the greatest. That's a that's a legend. You know, like <clears throat> with Snoop, I was just talking to some. Uh, not to go off subject, but it's only two black. It's only two black people in the world that I think if any racial ethnicity seen anybody would know who it is. It's Snoop. And in, in our culture, it's Will Smith and Snoop Dogg. Yeah. I think of an Asian, a Puerto Rican, an old 60 year old white man, black, they're gonna know who Snoop Dogg is, and then probably, they're gonna know who Will Smith is. That's it, yeah. So to have that, one of those guys on your track, is legendary. That was and you gotta got understand yeah. too, man, like, 
it still really ain't even sunk in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know. Like, I know. It's just like, okay, well. Because you're still working. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but he actually, Snoop actually jumped on um, a California remix too. Mm. Um, him, E40, and uh, Too Short. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so y'all check that out. Okay, so you got, you had, that song could have went to so many different versions, man. <laughs> oh, Snoop and Hank, that would be hey, cool. that would be crazy, man. That would be crazy. We gotta, we gotta call the powers that be and make that happen. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't want to give away anything. So, can, any any surprises that we can say coming up in the first quarter of twenty twenty one that you, that we can hear that you can say on this camera right yeah, now? Yeah, um, got a new single with um, Cash Cash and Mulatto mm. called Cash Out coming soon. Oh, yeah. Um, Mulatto going crazy too. Mulatto going she, stupid. I Shout out to Mulatto. Like but Mulatto threw the craziest yeah. party the man. other night. Oh man, I Jeez. seen it. I Ooh. seen it. Shout out to the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 who was it, Hannah Kane? The yeah, shout out to Hannah Kane. That shit went crazy. It's Hannah Kane, she the, she, the, she the go to this shit, boy. God damn. That she, shit. She need to be the official national party thrower. For any event. event thrower for any event. What has this, and before you leave, what has this pandemic, because it's, it, it's, it's been a pandemic for some people. Oh, I got, I got to tell you about other stuff coming up. Okay. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, okay. You wasn't done. You wasn't oh, I wasn't done. My bad, yeah, my bad, my bad. It's, it's, it's much good. more. It's okay. much more coming okay. up. Okay. I didn't know if you wanted to get it, but exclusive. <laughs> I didn't know how far you can go, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got okay. my project coming up okay. soon. I got a uh, couple of artists. I'm going to uh, shout out to Kissy Lee. I like um, She dope. Yeah, I got her new single, uh, My Love. I heard about from the Scotty ATL camp a couple yeah, years ago. She she's going crazy. Yeah. My love record. Shout out to all the stations supporting that. Okay. Okay. Um, got a new record with her. I heard, I heard that lip record. Yeah, it's on, it's, it's going crazy it. on the radio you right now. You make that feel them feel good. You make the, you you got the feel good beats, man. That's what it is. Hey man, I feel good, yeah. man. <laughs> I like that's it's it's you, you can throw it on at any time. You know, it's the it's the it's the timeless beats, man. I feel, and that's the song I think I, that's your most current that I I think I seen your name when I was just doing yeah get with the Kissy Lee track. So got I got a new record with her, a new um single. With her and light skinned Keisha, that's stupid. Mm. It's gonna go crazy. Um, and I got this uh, Jacquees, Tory Lanez, mm. Trey Songz record. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Trigger on the okay. Yeah, all three of them on one record. That's hard. So, you bring R and B back with that yeah. record. Yeah, yeah. Let a producer bring R and B back. Fuck, fuck an artist. Let a producer yeah. bring R and B. Let let that go to the producer who brought R and B back. There you go. And the title is right here. You heard the title. Right here, the producer who brought R and B back, not the artist. Me? We're gonna we're gonna speak it into existence, man. Well, yeah, so this is it's a lot of things. I uh, got City Girls stuff coming out with mm. them. Uh, I mean, the, the list goes on, man. So I I'll make sure I bring a hill to to hill first. Man, I love that's check hard. It that's hard, man. Yeah. That's hard, man. Get us, man. His roses wise here, man. When you see this interview, man, you know it's live hip hop deli. The legendary young OG, Mr. Hanky, the producer, yes. man. Anything you can, uh, I like to. Like for people like you to drop some encouraging words for the high schoolers, to young producers, that's the aspiring producers, the the niggas that could be your same age that want right. to do this shit. You know, it ain't got to be just a young nigga. It could be a fuck that. I want to leave my job. I, I I know Hanky. I I I like his his drive. So what can you? What words can you put out there for the you know for the people that need to hear that? Nah, uh, the main thing I would tell you, man, just just really, man, just if you believe in it, no matter how crazy it is. Somebody else go, they go fuck with it. That's hard. Like for real. That's hard. I've seen, I've seen artists that, um, you know, people used to laugh at and everything, and next thing you know, phew, took that's, off. That's you know hard. what I'm saying? So you just never know. And that goes for the, that goes for the, um, the producers, songwriters, the content creators, all that. Like all y'all just keep doing it because it's just about just keeping it going, and um. That's it. Like that's real. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, just consistency, keep going. man. Consistency wins. Consistency yeah. wins. I mean, even the ugly girl get pregnant. That, you know hey, you're right. Saying? You're right. Hey, that's funny as hell that you said. Yeah, that, like everybody, everybody go chasing the, <laughs> and then you walk. The girl that, that nobody <laughs> want, she got two or three kids. And, and she can cook. And she can cook. <laughs> and she, she she pull up, she got her, her, her bins. I'm like, boy. <laughs> hey, step, but you can get on the passenger side of her shit. We told you know y'all, hey. Hey, man, stay away from these girls that want you to call her over eats, man. It's <laughs> over with for that going into 21. Live Hip Hop Deli, man. DJ Larry Love, Mr. Hanky, man. Till next time, we out of here, man. Go on. <laughs>